so Mr. Senpai here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. As you saw last time we f uh, finished our entrance way. It's nothing amazingly pretty but it does the job. We've got our billboards, we've got our information cost, we can get your tickets and your maps and your what have you. Uh, priority passes. I don't know how I forgot that because that's the only thing they actually sell. So, what we're going to do today is build like a sort of entrance plaza. So, we're going to get our paths, and here we go. So, we'll put the food shops first, they're more important. That's what will bring guests in as opposed to a toilet. So, I mean, they've got one of those at home, but they can't get a. What are we going to put? Nothing too heavy, you know, it's just a snack for when they first get here. So, Missy Good Donuts. Good like a donut hut here. Then we're going to have a drink shop attached to that. Donuts and coffee always goes well. And then over this side is where the toilets are going to go. They're going to go far away from the uh, mess of the shops. Because if you were to put Toilets right next to the shops, looks kind of disgusting, but here they're fine. Da -da -da -da. Now, the staple of any place is a gift shop. We're actually going to move everything one over just to make a bit more even. There we go. So that's all those done. That's awesome. So now we're going to build the places that house them. Green and green. She's not going to uh, uh, make it a bit bigger so it looks like it has some substance to it, you know? So it looks like there's a back room where there's merchandise and stuff. It's just a bit more realistic. There we go. Give it that. This looks pretty cool. Then we're going to do the same over here with the toilets. Again, a bit wider so it does look like a whole toilet block as opposed to just... You know, whatever. So, I mean, if you look at those, it doesn't look like there's enough room for anyone in there. Whoops. Let's get that. Get rid of that. There we go. And. Let's go again. This time we're going to go for that yellow colour that we're known for. There we are, look at that, that's beautiful. Perfect. Set's so looking pretty cool. Now these places are only going to really have 
one level because they're just so sort of your average things. But what we are going to do is put all these houses on them. There we go, look at that roof, that's beautiful. At least it will be once I'm done with it. There we are, this is starting to look a lot better now. Basically that el eliminates the need for trim, you can still put some on if you want the house to look extra good but yeah you don't need it anymore because it's all sorted. And why are you there? So let's uh, do this. To be honest, it's the uh, last house that I'm not looking forward to doing. So that will be a bit of a mess to sort out because the dimensions are a bit different. They're not as even as on this. But I will find a way. I always find a way. Okay, now uh, I'll pretty up the houses later. Don't you worry about that. I just want to get them built first. What am I doing? I'm such a melt. I know what I needed to do, I don't need the corners, I'll just put a fucking slope there. What a dickhead. Now that's just the basic infrastructure of our buildings sorted. Now what we need next is a signage. Let's go for our wall signs. Now in fact first let's go for the shop decorations, we'll get the awnings over here. So you're a Street Fox Coffee. So you get this one. There we are. Street Fox Coffee. Now where's Missy Goods? There we go. Missy Good Donuts. Are you in line? You better be or you'll be answering to me. You're close enough for my liking. You pass this round. Right now, so we need some wall signs so people know what they're getting from here. Was there one for the coffee shop? I don't need it. Okay, so... I will go back for the posters in a minute because the back of these shops are looking a little bare. I also forgot to put the back of the wall in there, so I'll sort that out in a minute. But for now, our toilet needs a sign. Stick it straight in the middle. I also forgot to put the arch down for the building. So that could be important. Just be a... Painted arch. Like that, there we go. Don't go do this arch, I'm going to make it our traditional yellow colour. Make that. Like that. Okay, now I need to fix this wall. So let me just sort that out real quick. 
Let's put some more posters on you. Posters make the world go round. Put some more security posters down. Remember, we're watching you. Do, do, do. I've got to remind people at all times we're watching them with an iron fist. Okay, so now we're going to go to here. Actually, no, no, we're going to go back to the building. We didn't put any doors on the fucking shops. So that would be a bit rubbish if people couldn't get in and out. Cool. This place is really starting to come along now. Toilets don't need them because, you know, it's just a toilet block, whatever. Why are people throwing rubbish away from my lovely park? How dare you? One thing we're missing from this building is the decorations. We don't have any decorations for this yet. So what, your hat's fantastic. Hat's fantastic. That's just a memento. Go and then Looney Blues. There we are. So now let's get some wall advertisements for that. Looney Blues. That is a big sign. That'll do, I think. That'll do. Um, need just a memento. That's the main gift shop. So let's give it something a bit bigger. There we go. Just a memento. Last but not least. Hats. Fantastic. Why is this one so big? That's fantastic. I love the little ditties. They're amazing. Right, so what we're going to do now is start uh, making some scenery. Getting the place looking nice and pretty. Actually, what I'll do before that, I'm going to put a couple of paths through here just to make it easier for people to walk through. Excellent. Now, scenery. Before we do anything, we've got to do the important stuff. That's benches and bins. If you don't have enough bins, it's just messy. And I find quite a bit of time if it's really busy in a place, there aren't enough benches to go around, and you have to kind of walk around all day. You get kind of tired, or you have to sit. I like some jagged scenery piece that's not really intended to be sat on. So yeah, I want to make sure people are comfortable. Comfortable customers are happy customers after all. With all the bins I'm going to put down as well, there will be no excuse for any guests who are throwing rubbish on the floor. Anyone who's throwing rubbish in the bin is going to be evacuated from the park. Escorted from the park rather, not evacuated. I can't believe people are actually p coming into this park. There's only some shops. You could just go to f down the high street and get this. But after I put down the bins, that will soon change. Because, guys, it will be time for the first ride. Obviously, I'm not going to be a complete tease and leave you without anything for the next episode. So let's get our scenery on the go. Thinking a couple of small trees, a few bushes, some flowers, all that good stuff. 
There we are, it's looking pretty already. Let's get some of the white ones over here. Now what we're going to do over here is we're going to put a rock down. There we go. And we're going to add some ivy to it. Or just a floor creeper or whatever. There we go, looks nice. We little flower thing coming out of it. Looks good. So now guys, I think it's about time we get a ride ready. I want it to be seen from the park entrance, so we're going to come over this way and it's going to go around here. The park can extend to there, okay. Right, no, what we want is a bigger path actually. Now what ride are we going to put down? Now, the, the ones that people come to the parks for, for miles and miles away, are the thrill rides. So we're going to start with a thrill ride, and we want it to be seen for the park entrance, so people go, wow, that looks awesome, as they come in. So, what thrill rides do we have? What's the Iron Claw? I haven't seen this one before. I think this is a new one. Hey, that looks neat. Yeah, we'll have that there. Have the entrance here. The exit like there. Let's connect the entrance to the path, okay. There we go. So, I don't know what kind of theming we're going to have for this. Let's get rid of the cues because I keep buying cues. Let's customise the colours. Right, I want this blue to be black. Be black as well. I want this red to be a darker red. There we go. And the orange oh, black as well. There we go, it looks pretty cool, I think. So, Iron Claw. What we're actually going to call it is Supernova. There we are. So, now what this thing needs is theming. Now, I'm not really going to do themed areas of the park. I'll do like theme specific rides, maybe. But it'll be generic theming for the park, unless I get any specific requests for stuff. But for now, we go and get some. Ah, oh, no, actually, let's get some rocks on this. We've neglected the rock, I think. Let's. Get this here. Now I want this to be realistic, so I'm actually going to make a barrier, like a little fence or something, between the ride and between the ride and the uh, path, basically, so people can just run on it and kill themselves as they are want to do. Now, to hide that gap, we're just going to whack a whack, whack a hedge down or something. Nice and easy. Good up. Oh, that, that is a large bush. That's a very large bush. I only need one like that size. That'll do. There we go. All my vendors are closing because we're not busy at all. I mean, whatever. Fuck them, right? Rocks. Let's get some more rocks going. Beautiful. Look at that. What's our scenery rating right now? 29%. Is that it? Pathetic. That being said, we also have nothing on this side. We don't have an entrance way either, so we should probably sort that out. 
to build our archway, I'm thinking, hmm, what thing should our archway be? Hmm, this is a tricky one, guys. I can't decide how to do it. So it could be like a radiation tower. That'd be badass. Don't know why I'm doing this, because nobody's actually going to see it unless they go looking for it. And because I'm not actually uploading it to the Steam Workshop, unless people specifically request it, then... Yeah, it's not happening, but... Yeah, let's, uh... See what we can do next. And what I'm going to do next is actually make the sign for the... Uh, for the ride. What I want to do is see if I can make a radiation sign. But for some reason these only rotate one way, which is a bit fucking annoying, so... Looks like my clever idea is not happening. I'll have to find something else to build it out of. So far I've just made the Triforce from Zelda. I'm quite aware of that, guys. Now I just gotta get the bugger up on the wall. Right, okay. So I've got it all I've got on that building, so if I can fucking get it to work, then we should be alright. Get that. Edit building. This is no longer part of the building, what the hell? Move selection, there we go. This is getting very annoying. Extremely annoying. But it will all be worth it once we've got this shitty sign on the <laughs> fucking thing. Okay. Maybe to cross. this around. Just also translate to move it upwards, move it there, move it in there. Let's do another rotate. I don't get why this is so tough to rotate all of a sudden. No, -ho -ho, come on. That's going to be really hard to select now. Okay, advanced move selection. There we go, this is better. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, I'm facing a bit more forward though. Let's translate it across. And up. And a little bit, oh god. A little bit more in. Okay, here we go. So that's that done, and what was the ride called again? It's been that long, Supernova. Oh sure, 40%, I can work with that, open it up. Now that looks dead tacky. That looks really tacky. 
Let's uh, get that. Let's get that. Might be something good for like the first aid stand I'm going to build next to it anyway. Right, it's a bit of a plain bit there, so that's add some like trees and bushes around. That looks pretty cool, I think. Let's walk through. So you got the uh. Alright, entrance, here we go. You're walking. Why are there kids going on this? This is a fucking scary ass ride. You go around here. This area is a bit blank. Let's whack some bushes in here. Get a couple of red ones in the front, just so it looks pretty. Oh, one in the middle. Like that, there we go. That looks awesome. It's a bit blank here as well. So, uh, what is here? What is here? This. 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 And this. And these. And one of these. Awesome. Okay. So that's that done. Now, what all we need now is the ride sign and the thingy majiggy. So now all we need is uh, the mood lighting to create a proper ambiance. Let's just get that sorted now. Ah, oh, yes, that's perfect. And then we'll duplicate you. Put you over this side to light up the other one. Then we'll duplicate you. It gives that real eerie radioactive glow. I love it. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That looks really cool. So what I'm going to do now. Put some lights over here because it's a bit dark over here at the minute. This one, just your bog standard. Um, lights are needed. So yeah, that's looking pretty good now. There's only one thing left to do for this episode then. We're going to ride it. No, we're going to go through the queue actually, first. Alright. Let's go through. I'm a very tall person. I'm just towering over these people. Excuse me, coming through. VIP, out the way. Oh, I'm so drunk, I'm falling into the bushes I'm not eager to get onto the ride oh god quick jump the fence they're letting the next ride on out the way you schmucks I'm the next in line everybody on oh god I can't see anyone Who's that next to me? I'll never know. I think it's like a little kid that snuck on here. Look at those two little kids there opposite me. What the fuck? They're going to be shitting themselves. Oh, here we go. That looks like a female version of Lucio from Overwatch. Huh. Hopefully the fact that she's on here means the ride ain't going to break down. Oh god. Oh god, here we go. Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! Oh god! Oh jeez, don't look down. Oh god, I'm looking down. Oh, this is terrifying. Look at that little kid. He's having the time of his life. I'd be crying right now if I was him. I'd be crying. I'd never go on this. Look at those guys. Those edgy teenagers coming on the fast rides. As long as they're not vandalising my bins. It's all good. Whoa! 
Oh, it started spinning now. Whoa! Way! Put your hands up! Why has nobody got their hands up? To be fair, I'd be holding on for dear fucking life if I was in this thing. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, look at that guy, the green dyed hair. That's pretty cool. Whoa! It's a full capacity ride as well, which is pretty neat. Whee! I'm thinking like, I'll build a chair plane here for like the little kids. Then like the mums and dads can go get coffee over there and then sit and watch their kids. It's perfect. There we are. So that should boost the numbers, give the kids something to do. So at the moment, those kids are going on that fucking pants-shittingly scary supernova ride. Right, what are we going to call the chero plane? The air seat. The air seat. There we go. So we've got the air seat open up. Just whack a few bushes around it. Some pretty stuff. Awesome. Let's have a look at this. So walk through these nice little bushes. Let's see something else happen. There we go. You go, oh yeah, this looks nice. And then, there you are, the chair plane. Sorted. Right, I'm going to leave this one here. I've been Submissive Senpai. This has been Planet Coaster. And you guys have been brilliant. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>